After years of complaints about how complicated it is, the state pension is changing radically in April 2016. In general, the new system will be simpler and fairer, but there are some catches you need to know about. Under the old system, which will stay in place for those already retired, the basic state pension will be £119.30 a week from April 2016. Some people get some additional state pension on top of this. Under the new system, for those who retire after the changes come in, it will be £155.65 a week, or you could get more or less than this, as we'll explain. It's worth knowing that you won't get less than you'd have received under the old system. To any state pension, you need at least 10 qualifying years on your national insurance record. These are years where you're either paying national insurance or receiving national insurance credits. You can get credits for things like being too ill to work, or being a carer or unemployed. The first change is that some women and carers are likely to be better off under the new system because their credits will count for more than they have previously. Similarly, self-employed people are likely to be better off under the new system because their contributions will count for more. The second change is that the number of years you need to qualify for the full £155.65 a week has gone up from 30 to 35, although you can make up the difference with some second state pension. Second state pension can also boost you to even more than £155.65 a week. If you are opted out or contracted out of the second state pension so that you were paying less national insurance but getting a higher private pension, you're likely to have less than £155.65 a week at the start, but it can build up to that level through further contributions. If you have 20 qualifying years on your national insurance record come April 2016, you'll get around 20 35ths of the new state pension, which gives you a new state pension of £89 per week. But the second state pension and contracting out will affect the final figure. If you're aged over 55, call the Department for Work and Pensions to get an estimate of what you'll get. We'll give you the number at the end. If you reach state pension age before 6th of April 2016, the changes won't affect you. In April 2016, your pension will continue as it was before. The old system will apply even if you decide to defer drawing your pension. There's more about the pros and cons of deferring your state pension and topping it up elsewhere in this guide. So there are three things you can do now. Read the rest of our guide to the state pension changes. Work out when you qualify for the state pension by using the calculator in our guide. Call the Department for Work and Pensions to get an estimate of what you'll get on 0345 3000 168.